The Great Inferno is a gore porn movie from director Eli Roth, he's the same guy who did the hostels, but I know him from the Bear Jew and Inglorious Bastards. Now, we'll get to the elephants in the room later. First, I'm gonna review this as if it were an actual movie. So Justine is a girl, I'm surprised I remember her name. She's like at a college, and there's a bunch of like liberal hippies outside her college dorm room, keeping her awake at night while like doing protests and really gay stuff like that. And her roommate's like a really drug doing whore, like activism's gay, and she has the best line in the movie. It's just, Activism is so f***ing gay. <laughs> I completely agree. Finally, somebody speaks my language. This movie is so conservative. It's awesome. It's hilarious. The moral of the movie is don't care about the rainforest because that's stupid. And the people who do care about the rainforest all get killed. So she meets up with this group and they take it really, really seriously. It's like, we gotta protect the environment. Like, an entire rainforest and the indigenous tribes who live there will all be destroyed. And they go on a trip to go save the rainforest. And then they proceed to carry out the stupidest, most half-cocked plan to save the rainforest. I could probably think of. And they all get exactly what they deserve. So the acting and the lines are, it's, it's, it's really bad. The only thing the actors can like actually portray is being scared. Like the looks on some of these girls' faces are pretty, they're, they're convincing. They're like, you are clearly very terrified and you kind of should be. So that that's about the only thing they can effectively convey. Uh, and one of the guys is just being a dick for the sake of being a dick. You son of a bitch, I'll effing kill you. You effing son of a bitch. It was so funny. And that is the biggest problem with this movie. There are two possible themes Eli Roth could be going for here. Yes, am I analyzing the Green Inferno too much? Probably, but you can either go A, completely over the top, ridiculous, funny, laughable violence, or two, like an actually serious, scary, threatening horror movie. And the problem is that it jumps between them way too often. I was like, he really should have picked one and stuck with it. So their plan to save the rainforest ends up with the girl getting a gun to her face and she's like, oh my god. So after they do the little plan thing and they get back on the plane, they're all drinking and beers like, we did it. So she's just sitting there like all quietly and looking like all terrible and everybody else is cheering and laughing I'm like that was a good moment i'm like you you're assholes look at her look what you did to her and then the plane immediately crashes and there are some of the funniest deaths i've ever seen and the part where they first get captured by the natives they're all like covered in blood and they're screaming they were just putting their hands on them like that was that's scary it's like look at them they're like ah! there are a couple of good scares in this movie but then there's stuff that is just so stupid it's hilarious when the girl cuts her throat with the thing that was that was good but immediately Immediately after that, a guy starts jacking off. And then the guy's like, you sicko, you effing sicko. And then he like attacks him and he's still jacking off while he's trying to hit him. And at the end with the teeth, I, I didn't expect that. I'll admit that was gimmicky, but that, that got me. Like after the first guy gets curl killed, when everybody's throwing up and they're like, oh, this is sick, this is horrible. And then, so it, it, it keeps that like serious, realistic feel for a bit. But then one of the girls is like, oh, I'm really sick. And then she just starts shitting her pants. And the sound effects had everyone in the fear laughing their ass off. And the fact that she didn't pull her pants down, she just went <laughs> Look at No Escape. Look how No Escape handled a similar thing. Like that was like a serious like, oh man, that's humiliating. I feel bad for you. So apparently the special effects team can't create convincing diarrhea because it all happens off screen. And there's no evidence of it any later in the movie. It's a hard R torture gore porn movie. Like use your rating. If you want to affect us, you should show that. And that's the biggest problem with this movie is it is way more tame than it looks like it's gonna be. There's one gory death in the whole movie, and I've seen far more cringeworthy violence in other movies. Not one time in this did this movie make me go, oh, 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 I was just laughing. This is gonna sound completely contrary to everything else I've said the entire length of my channel, but this movie could have benefited from more nudity. All right, I say that because there's a graphic nudity rating on the tagline and they waste that on a shot of some guy's dick while he's peeing. And there's a part where the knaves are kind of stripping the girls and you're like, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, but it doesn't show anything. And there's a part where they start like screwing with their junk, but it's like off screen. I'm like, what are they doing? It's confusing. If you showed that, we would be like, oh, you sit in like tension for the ha first half of this movie because you're anticipating things that never happen. This whole movie is building up to some female genital mutilation. Like, it says that in the beginning. And it's all like, oh, oh, oh. 
But that never happens. And the one part in the movie where you might maybe think it might happen, the camera is so close up, like on her hip and fuzzy and shaking, you can't see anything. Nudity can be intimate, vulnerable, and humiliating, but it never is in this movie. To get that feel like you're you're horrified for these people, but you don't care. I said you, I said you, I'm sorry, I didn't care. And with that, any tension or fear Eli Roth was trying to accomplish with this movie was completely gone. And with that aside, the reason you probably went to see this movie is gratuitous violence and nudity. And I was talking with some of the other people in the audience afterwards, like, yeah, the hostile films were way worse. All right, yeah, and I know my Christian subscribers are like, you traitor, how could you see this movie? Is it a sin to watch a movie like this? No. And I'll do a whole video about like why, when I think sex and nudity is okay in movies like later. Regardless of what kind of a movie it is, it's entertainment, it's just a movie. If you can, differentiate between reality and film, you're fine. Are you an effed up psychopath if you like this movie? Probably not. And in one of the promotions for this video, Eli Roth is doing like a top 10 cannibalism films of all time thing, and I was talking in the comment, and everyone's like, oh, oh, the graphic violence isn't censored, but the nipples are, Psh, that makes sense. And that really bugs me, because like, no. Seeing graphic violence does not make you want to commit graphic violence. And if it does, there is literally something wrong with you. However, seeing like erotically charged nudity can like turn you on and that's lust and all of that and that's that's bad, that's more controversial. You know my thoughts on that, but uh, that's from religion so not everybody's okay with that, but that is why. That's why that needs to be censored in the YouTube video. And again, it's YouTube because if you start doing that, then YouTube becomes a porn site. There are little kids on YouTube, man. Have some decency. In the end, I thought The Green Inferno was very dissatisfying and did not fulfill any of the promises the trailers made and I think it's worth a 4 out of 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm Wesley Thompson. Like, share, subscribe, and comment if you'd like to join the crusade to plague. Damn it, plague isn't really a verb, is it? If you'd like to embark with me upon a crusade. This, this whole channel is falling apart!